All right, I'm fishing this morning with one of my favorite anglers along the entire Louisiana coast, Captain Chris Robert. Chris and I have been fishing together for years. He's an exceptionally good angler who's on a really good bite here in this eastern Lake Pontchartrain area. He said it's just been fantastic for weeks. Very, very optimistic. We got great conditions this morning, probably blowing about five knots out of the west. Man, just the type of fall day you dream about. Chilly in the morning, but you know it's going to warm up as the day goes on. We'll probably be back at the dock, cooling our heels before too long. Let's see what happens. Fish, fish on. Fish on. Feel decent? Oh, that was a nice oh, trout, dude. God. That was a nice trout. Shoot. Oh, no. Man, Chris, bad omen, man. Two, two back to back that we should have had. Blow up oh, goodness. I thought it was a redfish. That was a big trout. trout. That was a big <laughs> trout. Oh, there we go. Good fish. Not as good as the last, but not bad. <laughs> All right. There we go. Good fish. Oh, Chris! <laughs> that was a good fish. Shell shot, man. What yeah. the hell? Good fish. Yeah, you look good. They always look good when they get away. <laughs> oh, man. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Puglia Sporting Goods. Got him, got him, got him. All right. Yeah, it's a good fish. Pretty fish. Very pretty. Oh, there he is, a double. Not only today, we like jinxed. <laughs> there's a good fish. That was a good fish. I don't know if he was as big as the first one, but that first one was a pig. Yeah. Alright. Yep. <laughs> Man, we were a snake bit today, badly. All right, so this is a perfect example of why you don't want to be a spot fisherman. We came into an area that Chris fished yesterday, and he smoked them. Had no trouble catching limits, and it's just kind of not happening today. We've had our opportunities. I mean, we've really missed a good number of fish. Chris lost a beast next to the boat, but we've only had really a few bites, maybe a dozen or so. So we're going to pull up out of here and just go explore and just go try and find some fish. Chris is saying, you know, most days he's got client so he can't really just go fish well today with me on board we're just gonna go fish that's what we're gonna do so we'll see what happens i am 100 percent confident we're gonna find some fish today no doubt about it stupid. I'm sure you see it every day. <laughs> oh, she's hooked up. She's like, go back in. <laughs> he got one. Key West. No more anchor. Right. 
That's in a big fish if it's anything. Yeah, it's a, it's a fish, but he's not big. Man, he's really little. Got him? That looks like a better fish. Keeper, at least. Oh, God. <laughs> Slow. <laughs> Come on. Alright, there we go. One in the boat. Hooked him under the mouth. Really? <laughs> like hooked up or just bites? <laughs> Yeah, just one pocket. I always tell people, man, you know, you could be five feet or ten feet from something. And never know and it. You never know that the fish are dead. All right. Nautic Star got him one. Oh. There he is. Not big. Not big. Dude, look at that. Keeper. Keeper oh, what do you? Oh, he threw up a shrimp. Yep. Sorry, dude, you can't swim in air. <laughs> and what the hell is he thinking? Like, look where these guys are fishing. Look where he came. Right. Like, let me uh, let me totally cut you off where you're throwing. Yeah. What do you say? Right where they catch him. Right where they catch him, dude. Nice fish. 15 inch trout. Mm -hmm. There he is. That one made a mistake. All right. <laughs> this episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Matrix Shad and by Cito New Orleans and by Versamax Quartz and by Death Grip Jig Heads. Man, you gotta love fall in South Louisiana. So fat and healthy. Spectacular. Dude, that girl, she set the hook hard. Like, that's unusual. She freaking smoked that trout. Oh, yes. Little guy. Sorry to interrupt your day, dude. I'll send you back. Staying down means he's nice. Oh yeah, look how pretty that is, man. Oh yeah. Got him. So pretty. Nice. File hook. He feels funny. I don't know what this is. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a fish. Anybody hook him in the mouth? I know it's gotta hurt. Another baby. 
Well, he might make it. He's growing. He's got a shot. Yeah, he's gonna make it. He caught his twin. Nah, it's a little better fish. You weren't gonna lose him. All right, so where we're fishing, absolutely not a secret spot. I mean, you've seen it on camera. That's what we call the Chalmette Wall. And over here, the MRGO rocks, it's where they meet. It's just a little cove right here that frequently holds a lot of fish, more typically later in the winter. We're very, very early for these fish to be this stacked up right here. But hey, everything's been early this year and you can't argue with it. The fish are here, you gotta come catch them. We kind of formed a circle with some other boats and we're all casting to the middle. Everybody's catching fish. Tons of bait here. We've seen them actually on the surface. We're fishing, how deep is it, Chris? 15 feet About at least? 15 foot of water. Yeah, 15 feet of water. Still trout coming up to the surface chasing shrimp. The fall is just so special. It is. And this whole region is just full of fish. I know Chris didn't leave the house this morning thinking he was going to come fish here. <laughs> he thought he was going to catch them where we caught them yesterday, but, uh, but that didn't happen today. Caught a few there, but nothing like he caught them yesterday. But you're gonna find fish. You just gotta keep moving. That's what we did today. And got on a great bite. Got it. It's a keeper. All right. All right. A feast. fun trip it just does not get any better than that fall in south louisiana is like no other season well if you like the marshman mass on channel please consider supporting it by becoming a patron on patreon got the address below in the video description very very easy to do lots of great information there and also you can click the bell next to the subscribe button so you'll know when we post all of our videos. Well, leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know how your fall fishing has been. Do you find things to be ahead of schedule? I know I certainly do. It's almost like winter fishing already. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we will definitely see you right here on Marshman Masson.